Okay, so we are going to start the, uh, the webinar now. Okay, today our topic is Organize Your Creativity with X-Mind. This title is, uh, is quite special, uh, to be honest, because whenever we talk about creativity, you know, it's like limitless, you know, it's very messy, you know, it's very colorful, it's very pop. Uh, but organization is, is very clean, it's very sleek. Okay, so, you know, uh, what I mentioned just now is just like simple intro about me, like, you know, uh, you guys should, can just read on screen. Okay, I'm just going to proceed to the next slide. So, when we talk about, you know, content creator or as a creative, do you guys wonder, you know, how many functions or how many skill set you need as a content creator? Because content creating is, you know, it's like you need to be creative, you need to know how to write um, copywritings, you need to know how to shoot videos, you need to know how to edit videos. So there's a lot of skill sets in content creating, <clears throat> right? So um, I'm just going to show you guys this, this one. Okay, so this is our left brain and right brain. Lah. Okay, uh, it has different functions. All right. Um, can you guys just guess, you know, what functions um, we need as a content creator? Anything, you know, like art awareness, you know, need to be artsy. You need to have imaginations. On a daily basis, we are using our, you know, both of our brains. Uh, in marketing, you know, they are also encouraging you to use both of your brain you know, to produce a, a more, you know, logical and also creative artwork. Um, this will, you know, it will impact more people, lah, you know, people with very logical mind and also creative mind, right? So when, when, when we look at this chart, right, we know that we need to use our left brain and right brain. So this is why uh, it all comes back to our title today, you know, how to organize your creativity. Because creativity is not just... You know, all those arts, it's not just like you need to be very messy. You need to be also organized. You need to be also analytical and logical. So this is why, you know, uh, we have this topic today. So uh, one of my, one of the person that I look up a lot to is Steve Job. So Steve Job once said it takes a lot of uh, hard work to make something simple. I agree very much with this. Okay, because all those content you see online, it might be just 10 seconds or 30 seconds. It's very short, you know, and it's very, how to say, very simple and very easy access. You know, you just swipe up and then you, you can just access to a lot, a lot of contents. But it's actually, you know, it actually takes a lot of hard work to make it look so simple because all those um, planning, all those shooting, all those editing actually takes up a lot of uh, effort and time. This quote actually portrays it very well. Lah. And when we talk about Steve Jobs, we remember the product that he invented, which is the iPhone, uh, the MacBook, how aesthetic it looks. It looks on the outer look, you know, the iPhone design on the outer look, but also, you know, inside all the apps, all the development is actually very logical. So you can see, you know, um, his invention consists of these two elements. Lah. So let's dwell into how I do my content creating. Um, how do I organize my creativity? I'm just going to play a video. Hey guys, today I want to walk you through my content creating process. And I usually start by finding some inspiration online and then I'll use my XMind app for brainstorming. I love this app because it has plenty of ready-made template. I usually choose video script because I can put in my shots, duration and also some captions. And I love it because I can print it out easily from my iPad. I will refer to it when I'm doing photo shooting. So here I'm setting up my camera and I'm pasting this paper on the wall so I can easily refer to it. And here we go. Let's start shooting. And then after the shooting, I'll do some editing. And this is when I will also refer to my paper to make sure I'm on track. And then after everything is done, it's time to post. And big thanks to XMind app for making my content creating process easy. 
Okay, so basically the video is about um, me, you know, streamline my content creation. Lah. So usually what I do is find inspiration online. Uh, it could be on Pinterest, it could be on Google, um, it could be someone else's uh, social media so I can get some inspiration. Then what I do is that I proceed to brainstorming or mind mapping. I just throw everything I have in mind, all those inspiration, all those ideas, uh, using XMind app. So as you guys know, uh, XMind app is a mind mapping app. So it's very easy to throw everything there. You know, you have the, a big picture, la. at least you know, you know, uh, what is the direction that you want to hit to? What is the idea they that you want to execute on? So after mind mapping, you know, after using all those templates and after lay laying out all my ideas, I will make the print copy because I need to do shooting. So I'll either print a copy, I'll just like paste it or I'll just keep it beside me so I can refer to it. Or it's a digital copy you know, on my iPad. I can refer to it while I'm shooting. Uh, because I want to make sure that, you know, the shots that I imagine can be executed, you know, well. And then uh, I'll proceed into my shooting. Uh, after the shooting, I'll do my editing. So this is a very, I would say, a very common or standard content creation process. Lah. So today I want to share to you guys, you know, a breakdown of how I plan my content shooting in details, okay, with my XMind app. Usually, I'll open up my XMind app on iPad. It's easier for me to do the brainstorming in my iPad, lah, you know, it's, it's easy access for me. But you could also do it in desktop, from what I heard. I tend to choose template space uh, because I felt that, you know, it's very easy, it's very simple to use. Uh, XMind has a lot of templates very, very nice template. So uh, I'm just gonna click on templates. Okay, then, you know, you can see there's a lot of templates, you know, there's like travel plan, if you're traveling. I'll go to inspiration and creativity category where there's related templates that I can use. Then I'll go to the last one, which is video script. Wow, this video script is very, very good to use, like I would say. Uh, I love to use it for all my short videos. Okay, so, if you're shooting videos, uh, yeah, feel free to use this template. So once you click on the video script, uh, you get to see this screen, la, this template. La. So it has a title called video script. You can just easily change it into any title that you want. Okay, for example, your video is about food. You know, you just like put in like, okay, the food that I ate in one day uh, or, or a mini vlog, you know, of me, you know. Um, something like that. Okay, so you can see there's uh, like a small title. Uh, the first one is scene. The second one is duration. Uh, the third one is scene description. And the fourth one is short transition. Lah, right? Since I am currently doing a short video, so I don't usually go into the short transition kind of thing. Lah. So it's going just to be my short description. Uh, it's how I imagine the food to be like, you know, for example, there's like coffee on my table. So I just write it in. Lah. For the same part, you just put in like one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so uh, so for the same part, you can just break down the scene that you want by just labeling one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then for the du duration part, uh, for short videos, it's going to be in seconds, two seconds, three seconds, five seconds, ten seconds. Right. I'm just going to show you an example of how I use it. Lah. Okay. So. You can see in the big title, right? It's called Productive Vlog, X Minimal Mind. Okay, I'll, I'll sometimes I'll do productivity based. Uh, so and sometimes you know there is like sponsors or there is some products that I want to highlight. I want to share with my followers. I'm going to do collaboration with brand. So you can see that the front part is a vlog about productivity, but the back part is is a brand lah. Oh, so this is my title. So for the scene, this time I have six scene. Okay, I'll break it down to six scene and the duration is different, different. Lah. Then you can see the small title, the third one, I change it to scene objective instead of scene description. So scene, this scene description is, is last one. Okay, so scene objective is where I write, I would say like the purpose 
or objective of the scene. So Minimal Mind is actually my own brand. It's an e-commerce brand that sells a lot of, um, you know, workspace gadget, right? Uh, you know, laptop stand or bag organizer that you can keep all your digital accessories. So this is one of the vlog that I want to showcase, you know, my product. So for scene objective, while I, I'm going through the template with you guys, huh? I will be sharing the video later, uh, later for you guys to see lah. Okay, so you just like imagine first from my words, you know, and then you see what you imagine is same with my video or not. Okay, so for the scene objective, uh, I wanted to start it with intro, you know, by just like working outside, you know, just carry my laptop and you know just find somewhere to work lah. All right, so the scene description is like a visual visual kind of uh, description. Lah. So I imagine that, you know, I'm currently sitting at a workspace in digital library. So this is like a digital library nearby my house. Lah. Okay. So I actually put in all those words to help me imagine and help me go to that place and shoot. Very informative because, you know, the template is very good. So that's why I can, you know, uh, I can put a lot of info and it really helps. Lah. So ho hopefully it helps, you know to our, our audience. So I'll start the video with an intro. And then the second scene, I wanted to showcase the, the product. So the product is actually the bag organizer. So it's, it's a bag where I can fill up all my digital accessories into it. So it could be, you know, uh, my chargers, my cables, all those digital accessories that I need to use. So for the second scene, I want to showcase the feature of the bag organizer is very easy to carry, you know, uh, because you don't need to bring a lot of stuff la, while you work outside because it's going to be very heavy, you know, it's very going to be very, you need to carry a, a big bag or whatever. So uh, I want to showcase that it's easy to carry. So for the scenes this description, I'll be showcasing that I'm taking the bag organizer from my bag. Okay, so I want to showcase how big is the bag, you know, how easy carry is the bag. So the third one, um, I'm going to go into uh, the another feature of the bag organizer. Uh, it can easily organize a ton of accessory. Okay, so what I'm going to visualize is that I'm going to open up the bag and I'm going to show the compartment section. Okay, the bag organizer actually has a compartment section. Uh, there's one compartment where I put all my cables. There's one compartment that I put my power bank. There's one compartment where I put my charger, right? So it's like very organized. Lah. Okay, then the third one is uh, I want to showcase uh, I set my workspace, okay, with all my digital accessory. Because it's very important, you know, you need to outside. You really need a lot of stuff to, to be near to you. In case, you know, you don't have the battery, you need to charge your, your laptop, you know, you need to have power bank for your phones, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, you know, we live in a very modern world where we need all this stuff, lah, right? So, the scene description is, I will plug my MacBook charger into a power pot, you know, just to set up space. And then, the next one is, I'll start working on my laptop. And then... The scene description, I'm having, you know, uh, half of my body in frame with the laptop and coffee. So this scene is actually, you know, just, just to showcase my face to my audience. Lah. Because it's my social media account, I need to showcase them, you know, my, my personality, you know, my face. So this is just one of the part where I showcase my face. Okay, so the last scene is, uh, I'm just going to end my work with, you know, feeling very chill. Because uh, I have everything you know, near to me. I don't have to worry about my laptop running out of battery. Or I don't have to be worried about, hey, I didn't bring out this cable or, or whatever. Lah. So the scene is going to be like sip on coffee. Lah. So just to bring out that chillness, right? So after this template, usually after, you know, all this planning, I'll start to shoot, all right? And start to edit. And then there will be a final result from this template. So it's, it's very informative to let us remember you know what we plan yeah so that's that's how usually i plan my content you guys can see like, whether you know it's the same as what you imagine but i think different people you know have different imagination like, so it's quite interesting <laughs> Okay, 
okay, yeah, this is the result. Actually, quite similar to uh, what I've planned uh, in the template itself. It's actually, you know, a very good good template and it's good to be, you know, organized um, so you can plan and execute your idea. So this is the result we want because we want to be efficient in our execution. Lah. Oh, because when, whenever we talk about creativity, sometimes it's about like timing, you know, uh, you need to wait for that inspiration. You need to wait uh, for the idea. But I think we also need to be aware of the efficiency and also productivity. Uh, we need to have both. We, we really need to have both if we want to be competitive, you know, uh, in this modern world. Uh, there's a lot of contents outside. There's a lot of creative and artists there. So consistency is, is one of the... Uh, good way um, to stay relevant in this industry. Lah. But um, for the creative uh, who is here today, you just can go to Xmind and access their templates. Um, there's two categories which is I find it related, lah, inspiration and creativity. I think I pretty much you know finished my presentation. We can have some Q&A. What are your favorite templates in Xmind? Just now, I've, I've actually shared the category. The category that I like the most is inspiration and creativity, okay? <laughs> so uh, if I want to do a longer video, uh, I will need to have like a storyline. So this is where I can just lay out uh, all my ideas uh, before proceeding into, you know, the very deep video script. Okay, so my, my uh, favorite is this one. And there's another one I think uh, is like a travel list thing because uh, I like traveling a lot. So it really helps me to, you know, organize all my stuff. If there's no more question, I think we can just end the session. Thank you guys. Thank you for joining.